image on Sharia law Jackie Lambie's admitted she doesn't know what it is and she can't even pronounce burqa properly well the, the Palm United Party's policy is to announce who its leaders individual members can say what they like uh, whether they're right or wrong and we'll discuss in the party room and uh, policy will be determined but these are controversial issues isn't the least you would expect of a senator talking about Sharia law or the burqa that they would be well informed no well, I would discuss those issues any further because I think they're just trying to explain the community at a time when we should be seeking peace and harmony. If we had the CPRS legislated, that would be a worse outcome than now, where we have no market mechanism in place. Well, who says that it would even have it now? But even if we did, do you know what the price would be? 16 euro cents. Whereas what we achieved post that, there seems to be this sort of mental block. After the CPRS, we got the current emissions trading scheme. But it was a Pyrrhic victory, wasn't it? Because now we have nothing. Well, no, we had legislation that's been overturned, and that's the point. Jackie Lambie has gone rogue, lashing out at Clive Palmer for not supporting her campaign to increase defence pay. It's got it to the point where I just don't care what Clive Palmer's position is on this at the moment, but if he had a conscience, then he'd stand right beside me and our troops and our veterans and make a stance on this now. The senator says she'll block all government legislation unless a below inflation pay deal struck for Defence Force members is reversed. And she's not afraid of the consequences, even if that means being kicked out of the party. Um, if that's what's going to take, if Clive Palmer wants me to leave, then that is Clive Palmer's call. He is the leader. Joining me now is independent Senator Nick Xenophon. Good morning. Good morning, Cameron. You look about as bad as I feel. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> no, it's not a compliment. Well, then Friday I'll take morning, it as a comment. Friday, <laughs> Friday morning in Canberra. I don't want to be here. I want to be back home in Adelaide. But I, I had to be here under sufferance. Not here, here, but for, a, for an event I have to be part of later on. It's a hard life being a senator. No, no, I'm not complaining. As Australians woke to newspaper headlines screaming war, the Prime Minister hit the airwaves. Four interviews in two hours, assuring the public that this foray into Iraq is nothing like the war of 2003. This is President Obama. It's not President George W. Bush. Mm. The last attempt to legalise gay marriage was comprehensively defeated. Do you perceive that there's been a shift in parliamentary support? Um... I think so. Uh, the Labor Party has uh, confirmed that they will allow a conscience vote. The Greens will obviously support it. So the issue will be the Liberal Party. Australia's most dysfunctional political family may be heading for a split. On Wednesday, Jackie Lambie threw down the gauntlet again. Do you want Clive Palmer to ask you to leave the party? Well, that's up to Clive Palmer. But, uh, you know, I, I would just like Clive Palmer to come in and help our Defence Force personnel and the people of Tasmania. When I'm not going to sit here and make my pup senators or Clive Palmer look good when I'm not feeling that way about them. I won't do that. Mr Palmer responded on Thursday, saying in a statement he hadn't received a resignation by mail, email or courier pigeon. The Palmer United leader also accused Jackie Lambie of being a mouthpiece for her chief of staff, Rob Messenger. The statement went on saying Mr Messenger has been expelled from the party for false and misleading statements. Rob Messenger is a former Queensland politician and Palmer United candidate. A keen filmmaker, his YouTube account has a trove of videos, including his appearance on Red Faces. <laughs> Boy, 